So yeah, we were at the uh, Motorcycle Vagabond Rally just outside of Helen, Georgia, and a couple of fellows uh, invited me to tag along on a spirited ride through the mountains of North Georgia, and it turned out to be a really nice ride, perfect day, perfect weather, um, and just a little bit of traffic, I think there was a lot of bicyclists out this day, but uh, we... Uh, we rode through the mountains of Georgia over to uh, Suches, Georgia, and turned around and came back. We had a few detours, but uh, those were disasters trying to find some really twisty road that we couldn't find. But I decided I wanted to show you a few of these roads while talking about a few reasons why you need to get up here and ride these roads yourself, especially if you're in the southeast especially if you live in a state that has lots of straight roads um, not a lot of twisties these roads are extraordinarily interesting um, in that uh, there's just <laughs> there's not a lot of dangers other than uh, the twisties which um, you can see it's it's relatively twisty here uh, once we get around uh, the, the vehicles and the cyclist and uh, turns into a little bit better. So uh, an unusually busy day. I think I think this was probably a, I can't remember if this was a Friday or a Saturday, but yeah, lots of cyclists. Um, I would say you probably don't see a lot of uh, group cycling like this. So I think this must have been an event. But uh, also I decided rather than just showing you the roads, um, I wanted to talk about 11 reasons why you should come ride the North Georgia mountains. And <laughs> the 11 reasons are arbitrary. I just figured that would be a pretty good goal to be able to tell you a few of the reasons. And a lot of these reasons are the same reasons um, to ride a lot of the, the regions in the Appalachians. And specifically, uh, North Georgia... Tennessee, North Carolina, um, but yeah, a lot of these, the same reasons apply, but I just thought this would be a little bit of an experiment to, to talk about some of the reasons to come up here, uh, but specifically this region of Georgia. Um, the first reason uh, that I like uh, and applies to almost all the great places to ride are there are very few straight roads in this area. And by straight roads, I mean, uh, you know, Kansas, <laughs> Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, all those states that, that make you think of, okay, yeah, it's, you're going north or south or east or west. There's no reason for you to go around any th obstacles because there are no obstacles. It's just flat plains. Well, that doesn't exist up here. There are mountains and rivers and streams and creeks and all those things require that instead of flattening the earth down you just carve out a little space along these mountaintops and around the creeks and rivers and that's what makes these roads so extraordinary with just a little bit of scraping you can have roads up here and i imagine a lot of these roads were scraped back in the 1800s maybe even earlier uh, but yeah that's what makes these roads so exceptional and probably uh, most of the roads that I've seen around the United States nobody makes twisty roads just for the just for the hell of it uh, they make it because it's it's the easiest way to get from point A to point B is to scratch some uh, scratch some trails out along the ridges along the river banks um, around lakes and that's what typically makes these extraordinary roads so twisty and so beautiful and you can see um, there's, there's quite a few twists in these roads, and uh, yeah, just it, it makes them exceptional. Um, the second uh, reason you need to come up here and ride North Georgia is uh, there's very few driveways. If you will notice, um, driveways and intersections don't really exist much up here, um, mostly because this is a, a national forest area, and the driveways, a lot of the drive, driveways or intersections that you'll see are pullouts, which are dangerous in themselves, especially in blind corners. 
but we'll talk about that probably later when we get up into uh, North Carolina and the uh, the parkway, the, the skyway, um, areas like that. But yeah, very few intersections, very few driveways. There's not a lot of people coming into this roadway. Um, uh, this is probably a, an odd day seeing all the traffic, all the bicycles, all the cars blocked up behind them. Everybody's afraid to pass bicycles because, well, yeah, it's probably probably a wise idea, at least uh, safer for the cyclists, for motorists to be backed up behind them and going very slow. That protects them from dangerous bikers like us. But uh, yeah, no driveways. Uh, miles and miles and miles, you'll see 10, 15 miles between a driveway sometimes. And that makes... Uh, makes the road faster and makes it more pleasant not to have to interact with cars coming into and exiting the highway uh, but you know a lot of it is just because this is <laughs> in a remote mountaintop region uh, in between small towns uh, just makes it much more pleasant of a ride and allows you to to do <laughs> excessive riding like, like we're doing here i wouldn't call what we're doing uh extreme because uh, I think most people could probably accomplish this with a little bit of practice but um, yeah um, and that kind of leads us into the third reason I like to talk about is the very scenic views and since there's no tree or leaves on the trees you can see the mountaintops in the distance and it's just beautiful and you can slow down and look off to the left look off to the right you can see creeks you can see rivers you can see lakes you can see pastures and when you want to just pull off at one of the uh, one of the pullouts, you can see much, much further uh, because there's no trees at all in your way there. Um, the fourth reason is lots of rapid changes in, in the elevation. Uh, so these roads are going up and down across mountains and hills and not always a, 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 a horizontal path so lots of times you're just going up and down hills and it's just beautiful and the elevation changes are what I always look for I love riding mountain regions um, especially twisty mountain regions like this lots of curves like this that just make the make the not only the riding uh, more challenging but more beautiful exciting all that put together and it's not just the mountains that make the elevation changes, it's the, the waterways. The water, water always goes downhill, so if you're riding around a waterway, you're probably going uphill or downhill. Um, just because <laughs> if water is not moving, it's called a lake. <laughs> but yeah, lots of, uh, lots of waterways, streams, creeks, lakes around here, and typically the roads have to go around those waterways and there's even a few uh, creek crossings around here which makes it even more fun if you like going off road um, I mentioned it before but uh, the sixth reason is pullouts there's lots of pullouts out here in case you get a little bit overwhelmed with the speed that you're riding or overwhelmed with the beauty the natural beauty and the, the curves and the scenery you can just pull out and enjoy it uh, take a nice break and inhale the view and uh, I mentioned it earlier number seven is there's not a lot of traffic or people typically um, you know once we pass those uh, cyclists and the cars that were backed up behind them you can see there's not a lot of traffic got some people coming our way but we're not passing a lot of people once you get out of out of town a little ways in between the two towns that we're going in between here there's just not a lot of traffic not a lot of people it's a good place to get away um, and of course if there's not a lot of people in a national forest you have lots of places to stealth camp uh, I mean it's a national forest so this is a uh, this is public land so if you can find a dirt road or just a spot to get off the pavement here just far enough you can hang your hammock or if you'd search five times as long you might be able to find a flat flat place to put your tent <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's number eight lots of places to stealth camp in the national forest um another big reason uh number nine neat towns like helen uh there's a cool place called dahlonega up here 
and uh, such as and they're all very touristy type towns interesting little spots if you like tourist spots um, but uh, yeah lots of little places like that to uh, to get out do your shopping grab some groceries get a, a bite to eat uh, some of these restaurants are pretty nice and uh, people come from all over America to visit little towns like such as and Helen and Dahlonega so um, and you know that leads us into number 10 which is lots of touristy things to do shopping eating uh, dining in other words um, tours there's lots of tourism um, and uh, you know lots of little things there's gold mining silver history around here and uh, and then you know there's always fishing too uh, if you're a fisherman there's lots of creeks uh, they stock a lot of the rivers around here so uh, yeah it's, if you're a fisherman this is this is a great place to come and of course, number 11, I mentioned it before, it's a great place to get away from people. If you're not much into the people thing, like, you know, I like people in limited doses, but I like getting away from people too. So it's always good to, to be able to get on your bike and get out of the cities, and get out into the country and refresh, rebuild uh, all, the, uh, all the things that make life good. And that is getting out in the country. And uh, But yeah, that's it. That's what I have for you today. 11 reasons. Um, and a lot of these apply to many of the other regions around America. Uh, especially in the Appalachians. One of my favorite places to ride. Just because it's a lot of national forest. A lot of public land. A lot of beautiful twisty roads with good pavement. And not a lot of cars or people. And a, a good way to burn up your tires really quickly. <laughs> as I've learned over the years um, yeah I just uh, I like uh, twisting the throttle and uh, having fun and pushing my bike around these corners and I think you will too uh, so you should really get up here and uh, try your hand at running a few of these curves and slow down long enough to to find a good spot to camp and you will be rewarded uh, if you want to learn more about uh, what we did at the rally, I'll leave a link here at the end if you want to see more riding. I've got lots more riding coming up in North Carolina and Tennessee um, very soon. And check those out. And uh, links at the bottom, end screens. And, uh, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.